This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. I've got five completely free plugins for you today, two virtual instruments and three effects. And I've done something a little bit different. I've decided to use them all together in one track, or at least the beginnings of a track, so we can see how they behave in a real life situation. Now I started off with some very strange tings indeed. This is indeed strange tings, basically a collection of sampled 80s electronic instruments, which you can like in these four layers that you can see at the top here. Now I've started off with something very, very simple indeed, and that is an electric piano sound. Now I'm gonna play this for you in a moment, but I wanna sort of warn you up front, this isn't gonna be terribly exciting, okay? But hang in there, because we're gonna tweak it, and it's gonna get better, okay? So this forms the basis of my track, this electric piano, and it sounds like this. Okay, I told you it wasn't terribly exciting. So I added a couple of pads to it. I'll switch those on now. This one here and this one here, and I pan them a little bit left and right. Now you'll notice with all of these layers, you do have some controls over them in terms of you know volume and panning, also tuning, but also some envelope controls with each one, attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. And you also get a global envelope control, which you can see at the top here. I haven't changed it for this one, but you do have that control. Let's see how how this is sounding now I've got those pads on there. Okay, getting there, getting there. Now for some boring stuff. We've got some settings down at the bottom here. You can figure that out yourself. And we've also got some presets sort of section here so you can load some factory presets, save your own. But the exciting part down at the bottom here is the effects section, which I indeed did make use of. You can see on the left, we've got a delay. On the right, we've got a reverb. Also on the left, we've got some LFOs. And on the right, we've got some filters. I didn't make use of those two things, but I did use the delay. I pushed it up a little bit like so have a listen to this okay now we're getting somewhere Yeah, and I added some reverb in there as well. And I also used this big knob in the middle, which is a sort of a global effects, I think. It's uh, called Tings Happen. I like that name of that control. Let's have a listen. Now I've got all of those effects on there. get the idea you can really make some great sounds from this and this did form the basis of my track and the next thing I did was add an effect to this. <laughs> Memory is described as a vintage vibrato but I think you're going to think of it more like a sort of a chorus effect. There's some delay, there's some pitch shifting going on, there's also some filtering on this, some noise that you can add and well let's just play with it and see what I came up with. Now when you first play with it it's going to sound a bit sort of werbly like this. <laughs> So you can hear that pitch shifting going on for sure. By the way, I've got the mix turn up full here, so we're hearing the full effect, none of the original. But in any case, let's just start off by adding a double in there. We'll get a little bit of a width. Let's have a listen. Okay, do you feel seasick yet? We need to turn the rate down a bit and the depth. Let's do that and have a listen. Not bad, starting to sound pretty dreamy. Now, we do have this filter effect, so if we turn its sensitivity or the frequency down, the cutoff frequency for it, turn this up for the filter, we'll have a listen. Yeah, I've got rid of some of those, those higher frequencies. We'll just switch this high pass on, have a listen. Okay, now I've got rid of lots of the lower frequencies, and I don't mind that for this piece. Um, I would probably sort of mix it a little bit like so, and also add in a little bit of noise. Too much. 
And that's the basics of uh, memory. Now, you could easily underestimate this instrument, Game Boy. When you look at its interface, you might think it's just a bit of a toy, but I think it's actually got some very useful sounds in it. Definitely they are inspired with a gaming kind of a theme and they can get a little bit lo-fi at times, which is probably what's so useful about them. But just have a listen to some random ones here. Let me just try this one. It's called Grunts. Okay, kind of a horn sound there. Let's try Ice Crystals. You get the idea. Not too bad a quality at all. Now, with all of these sounds, you can go in using this D-pad and you can do things like adjust the reverb. We've got a width control there, stereo width control. We've got a delay control here. And we've also got a bit crusher to make it sound much more lo-fi. And if you go into each of the samples, you can also adjust things in there as well. Now, I've taken a very simple approach with this. Um, I've used this kind of guitar sound, which they've got here. And it's a very simple part indeed. Have a quick listen to it. That may not sound all that useful, but if we blend it in with our Strange, strange Tings track that we started off with, it sounds like this. Okay, I don't mind that at all, but with the next plugin, we really upped the game, I reckon. Now, before we get on to what is probably my favorite plugin of this video, I just want to remind you our sponsor, DistroKid, makes it really easy for you to release your music to major platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play, etc. If you follow the VIP link in the description down below, you're going to get 7% off of your first year of membership now let's take a look at my favorite plugin in this video so this is deja vu a time stretching and pitch shifting plugin which has some really nice sort of musical controls with it now before we listen to what it does i want to explain to you that while you were away i actually added some bass and drums to my track so let's just have a quick listen to the track without deja vu switched on have a listen Now, not only that, but I've added Deja Vu to only two elements of this. I've added it to our original Strange Things uh, synth, and I've also added it to the drums, not the other elements. So let's just quickly solo those elements. And then after we've listened to, to them for a few seconds, well, I'm going to switch on Deja Vu. And you'll see it gradually comes on. One of the nice things is it's got this these timing controls, so it doesn't abruptly come on when you switch it on. That's have a listen to see what it's doing. Now you can hear with those current settings, you can hear this really sort of deep uh, kick in there for sure. I've adjusted and filtered out some of the frequencies. Let's undo that. Let's just have a listen to it with the mix all the way up so we can actually sort of hear the effect. In this case, it's really sort of slowed things down, but then we can blend it in with the original and it sort of syncs really nicely. Now we can control things like the overall sort of loop time up at the top here. So let's go to the other extreme and have a really sort of quick loop. Have a listen to this. Yeah, we can adjust things with the smooth control over here as well. Have a listen. I'll definitely smooth things off. I like it a bit sharper sounding. Mix in with the original. So I kind of like it on the original kind of settings that I had there, which uh, sound like this.
Once I'd done that, I added my final plugin. <laughs> now I should mention that this plugin from Universal Audio, Verve Analog Machines, is only available for free for the month of April. So get it now if you wanna have it for free. And by the way, you don't need any Universal Audio hardware. This is a native plugin. It's gonna run on any PC or Mac, I should say. Now. Essentially, it's an analog sort of saturation plugin. There's hardly any controls to talk about. We have four machines that we can switch through, and each of them just have this drive control at the bottom. I've set it to what I think is a nice setting for each of these. Let's just have a quick listen. That last one is awesome, but a bit too crazy for me. So I actually settled on the Thicken uh, machine. Now, I think the idea behind giving this to you for free is that you'll love it so much that you'll want to get more machines. There is a, a paid version of this which has more machines. I'm just going to turn that drive down a little bit on this. And if you're not sure exactly what this is doing to the track we had before, let's A, B, test it. I'll turn it off and then I'll turn it on. You'll see the screen brighten when it's on and you'll be able to hear the difference that it's making. rather like that. I'm super impressed that you made it this far in the video. You seem like the kind of person that would probably hit the like button down below and maybe even subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Let me know in the comments down below if that's you and which ones of these plugins you're going to be downloading right away and putting to use in your music. Also, check out this playlist right here. There's a whole bunch of other plugins there for free.